How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. Doing that full case guys. Evolving Skies Booster Box full case. Good luck. You can see it there on the top left cam as well. Uh, the full case there for you. Here are your results. Let's get this going. Best of luck here. Appreciate it. <coughs> This guy opened up six boosters, of course, in a full case. Ooh, I see the white powder in the box. Come on now. <laughs> I can see it. I literally just washed my hands. No. Get away. I've never actually visibly seen it until now. But you can definitely see remnants in this box. That's strange. See it a little bit in there. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, there they are. Six of them. Good luck. I'll take this one over from the right. Since you can't really see that one anyways. And good luck, guys. Full case time. Let's do it. Close out the uh, Pokemon group breaks tonight. All the group breaks tonight. This is the last one. Personals after this, like I said. Um, I believe it is probably full or very close to. So if you do order right now, um, there is a chance that it would rip uh, as one of the first orders on Friday. So do be aware of that. Gorgeous hollow slacking. Hey, what's up, Flip? How's your uh, night been, man? How's your night been? Hope you've been doing well. Fletchling, wishy-washy. They've announced a lot of new uh, MetaZoo news recently, Flip. They announced that they're going to do um, a couple more sets this year. Nightfall 2nd Edition. A lot of new news. There's a Leafy on VMAX for Grass to get it going. There you go, Grass. Leafy on time. Actually, let's set that there. We'll keep these all going tonight, guys. Always love ripping the full cases. See how we do. See how many alts we can pull. Tropius. Really? Which one, Flip? Which one? Tell me the name and then maybe like a, a popular card or something. <laughs> Some drama. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Time pole, Hydrogen Hollow. But yeah, tell me if you know the name and then maybe like a popular card uh, that that artist does so then I can be on the lookout for some more. That's nuts, though. Drama already. <laughs> Golurk V. Psychic. Go Ryan. Okay, start with the Golurk. Victor, okay, gotcha. Uh, there's gonna be present. There's gonna be. I think near the end of uh, 2022, it sounds like they might do that. Altaria, maybe around Halloween. So yeah, people are pretty excited about that just because uh, it might mean that the first dead stuff does really good then. Feeble. Not too sure how popular the second edition is gonna be, but... We'll see once we get there. We'll see. Ooh, great hit for Dark to get the case going. That's a full art Umbreon. Congrats. Who has Dark for the case tonight? That's a great card, though, to get going. There you go, Justin. Good stuff, man. Congrats on your full art Umbreon. Beautiful. And like I said, great start for you. Congrats. There you go, Justin. Ice Pop and Victini Hollow. It's a nice random for you as well to grab Dark. It's a great slot to get. A couple of really nice slots though. Dragon, um, Dark, and Psychic. All very, very good. Zwelius and Sharpedo. Grass and Water are fantastic. The quad combo is not too bad. You get a lot of hits with the quad combo by the end. And nice, there's Dragon. Great Quaza V Max. And that trainer is trainer. Nice. Let's start. Some sick ones in the first box. Yeah, Dark's a good one, Justin. I feel like you don't land Dark too much. Zygarde Hollow. <laughs> there you go. You were due. I was gonna say, yeah. I feel like you don't land Dark ever. So good luck on it tonight. Maybe we can pull you something crazy. There are some crazy ones. Smeargle. That, uh, that full art's a great start, that's for sure. Chance had some others as we go on tonight. 
and Fros. Guys, like I said, I'll have that almanac listing for you shortly after the stream tonight. Floetti, gorgeous. The Ray Craig. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's going to be added to the soundboard eventually here, Flip. I haven't forgot about it. Nice! Speaking of the quad combo, there is a gold metal energy for you. Nice. Congrats, quad combo. Gold metal energy. Very soon. There you go. Yeah, that's an incredible card, Ryan. Top modern card for sure. Solid box, guys. First half only. Swablu and Drampa. Nice. Alright, second half. Got Jump Bluff Hollow. Shell gun. Uh, Stoutland. Ooh, Trevenant, VMAX, Grass. Go. Ice Q and Rodrigo Hollow. Just send that trend there. And then, guys, like I said, um, if you do order a personal right now, it might rip at the very, very end of the night, or uh, it might rip on Friday. It'll be really close. So if you're down to wait up, feel free to order something. Especially if you don't mind if it's uh, on Friday. Rodrigo, giggle it. Or, of course, if you'll be here until the end, you can always order closer to as well. If there's something that you are thinking about. Pincer. Got a Glaceon. There you go, Water. Getting your luck started. Glaceon. It feels like all of the energies are grabbing at least one hit here in the box. Nick it, Drampa. And guys, I can give you some Almanac info real quick as well while we are ripping through this full case. Uh, the Almanac is going to be posted shortly after the stream tonight. Shortly after the stream. Kyrum and Lilligant. I would estimate something around... Uh, like 3 or 4 a.m. if you are one of those people that likes to wait up late and stuff like that. I will be uh, working on it shortly after tonight ends. Hippopotas and Zorark. Uh, it's going to be $419 a spot. So $419.99, $420 a spot. Um, per usual, like I said, we were planning to increase the price a little bit. As we have been increasing the quality of the slabs in the Almanac. Um, there are lots of big chases again. We are doing it draft style again. And uh, so that means, of course, that uh, you get randomed a draft position at the start. Talent Flame. And then uh, whatever pick you do end up with, after we do open the case, show you all 10 cards, you will get to select out of the remaining cards at that position. One, of course, being the best. You'll have the first pick and then 10 being the worst, as you would take the uh, last pick of the box, the last card. Uh, there are 10 cards in each case, and there are 10 cases in Volume 2, so it is a 100-card run total. Um, all of the cards that you've seen featured so far will be in the Almanac. Um, many others as well, of course. About 94 others so far, as you've only seen about 6, um, are still hidden. And most of the biggest hits as well are, are not shown in those uh, preview pictures. The biggest, of course, being that Shining Charizard. Uh, BGS 8, which is a bigger one. That'll definitely be uh, up there with a top hit from a case or so. Uh, but do be aware that that is uh, nowhere near the uh, the top of the cases. We want to keep some of those as surprises for you guys. Ludicolo Hollow. So I hope you are uh, looking forward to it. 
We are getting closer and closer um, to the launch. And then, like I said, it will be ripping um, not this Saturday and Sunday, but the following Saturday and Sunday, the 22nd and the 23rd of January. Sylveon B, Psychic Type Hits. And that's a Saturday and Sunday nights. That's nuts present. That's nuts. That's crazy. We had recently um, pulled some uh, some celebrations cards that also looked like they were, uh, yeah, run over by a truck, like you said. I don't know what was wrong with it, <laughs> but yep, that's that's wild. That's wild present. All right, guys, box two. And that's unfortunate because that's on like such a sick card. Ours were just like some uh, like base celebrations hollows. So um, nothing too much to stress about. But yeah, that's like actually a pretty solid pull. So that's pretty unfortunate. Sorry, man. No, you're all good. You're all good, Kyle. It'll be up, um, like I said, shortly after I end the stream tonight. So like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Eastern. Um, it'll certainly be on the website by the time you wake up tomorrow. Wishy-washy as well if you're not someone that stays up late <clears throat> and it'll be at 428 spots but all good man <laughs> Altaria people are always coming and going and stuff yeah exactly Randy it's a little bit less uh you can you can deal with it when it's just on a base ho oh like that exactly it's not gonna it's not gonna break your back too much but when it is on, you know, something like uh, those those top tiers of cards and stuff, it does kind of suck. Thievel, especially like a gold secret rare. It's like, come on, you don't want to see that kind of stuff, man. Gigawith. Yeah, that's always a huge question, Nick. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people ask like the same thing. Like, what's the what's the best way to go about this? You know, is it to buy two in the same one, try to target down um, a top pick, or do you want to um, shoot for more of a high ceiling but high risk by taking a couple in different cases? It's a it's a very legitimate question, Nick. <laughs> one that uh, many people probably think about. They both have their benefits and their disadvantages. It's a great one to debate. Hey, no problem, Chris. Good luck on those later, man. No problem. I will rip all those at once for you, just so you know. Zenaya's resolve. Nice. Trainer spot getting on the board. Good Zenaya's resolve. There you go. Trainer. Congrats. Hey, no problem, Kyle. No problem, man. Uh, get to the sleeves. Opened up. Drowsy and gorgeous. Got apple pie. Sharpedo. VMAX, there he is. Dark type. Garbador VMAX for you. There you go, Justin. Pippo down. Yeah, guys, I'm really looking forward to another Almanac. Gigawith, I've had a great time um, helping put this one together. And uh, like I said, since I do rip the packs for us uh, each and every night, I got a pretty good idea of what the people do like here on the channel. Garbodor V, Dark Type Hit. Um, I'm pretty sure the first Almanac did not feature like any Japanese cards. I would say that this next run has like 10% non-English cards. So I think I think people are gonna like having a couple of those hits sprinkled in. Tropius, Trampa. 
It's a great mix of vintage and modern. Uh, not just uh, WOTC era vintage either, a little bit post WOTC and stuff like that. Dino, Ludicolo Hollow. It's going to be fantastic, guys, and we're getting closer to it. Digging gloves and gorgeous. Second half. Little baby, Eldegas Hollow. It's been a Garbador box so far. Come on. Garbador box. Let's change that. Ooh, very sick. Trainer spot. Rainbow Aroma Lady. Wow, very nice. Congrats. There you go, trainer. Any word on what, Jacob? Any word on what? Yep, Randy just said it there, Ryan. 420. 419.99. Very nice, trainer. Any word on what, Jacob? I forgot what you were talking about. Keep these going. Dweeble and Tropius. Oh, any alts. Any alts. Uh, no, we've had rainbows and golds. No alts. And we had a full art Umbreon. Full art Umbreon. Gold energy. Rainbow trainer there. Had another trainer earlier. No alts yet though. Zygarde Hollow. All good. All good. Just wanted to make sure I understood your question. Uh, Boldor and Wishy Washy. Yeah, so some secrets and some full arts, but no alts. We'll update when we pull one. <laughs> Hopefully this pack going to be Moltres Hollow. No code card pack. Interesting. Saw a few trashes. Yep. Yep, yep. Some Garbodor action. Like Jeff said, a couple of pieces of trash. Yep. Rabombi and Altaria. Yeah, Trainer is doing good, Randy. They are doing solid. Ooh, Crimped card is Hitmonchan. There you go, fighting in the quad combo. Got yourself a crimped card. Cool. Hit Monchan again, and Lycanroc also fighting pack. Jeez. Holy cow. <laughs> there you go, quad combo. Crimped card as well is Hit Monchan. Pretty cool crimped. Hit Monchan. Oh, not bad at all, Jake. Stalin to Apple Pie. Not bad. You went random team style, it sounds like. Tropius. Hypno and Gigalith. And any, really, any color is nice in Mosaic, man. So not bad. Any color is nice. Lombre Smeargle. Justin not doing good in random recently. Sorry, man. Hopefully it comes around to you. Sharpedo and Milotic. Packers get swooped up so fast. Yeah, I can never find the Browns either. Because they're a super cheap PYT. I think there's like a couple of people that... Um, they'll see them for like one case. And then they'll just grab them for like all four cases right away or whatever. Just because they're so cheap. Uh, Gyarados VMAX. Water. Uh, but Green Bay is one of those teams, Jacob, where they just have, like, so many fans. Very nice hit, Water. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> Two Mac Jones autos, one break is nuts. Seismitoad. Yeah, that's that's true as well, Ryan. Or you're on a, like Ryan said there, where his PYT is the Patriots, and they're just like crazy. Talon Flame. Yeah, you gotta pay like a whole like booster case <laughs> worth to get the Patriots. Right, for just a single PYT. It's nuts. Gorgeous Lilliant. Yeah, 
Yeah, that makes sense, I guess, Jacob. Some of those quarterbacks that people are less likely to take a gamble on right away, I guess, at this point. And Glaceon for water. All right, so only two boxes in. No alts yet, though. Let's see one here in this next one. Keep going. That is pretty correct, though. Because they do still have some valuable cards, but people are less, uh, like, less high on those guys or whatever. Not quite as big on them. Randy's a Jags fan. At least the Jags have come down a little bit for you, Randy. But yeah, it's still, still way up there, of course. I'd be able to get like 15 brown spots for your one Jag spot. So yeah, <laughs> I hear you. Of course, you can hit much more valuable cards though. Seismitoad. I hear you though. That is. <clears throat> it is definitely expensive for a team like that. It's like the Brewers in most um, most Bowman breaks. The Brewers are quite expensive in, Bro in uh, Bowman. Oop, we got Slack off and Ligans. Fair, Justin, fair. I think Lawrence will be fine over time as well. I think it might be okay time to buy some of his stuff. I don't know. Dream ball, wishy-washy. But I don't know. It's a weird one with the Jaguars for sure. Because he could also just go to nothing really fast, unfortunately. Sharpedo and Stoutland. Yeah, you said it, Ryan. Where's the first alt at? Where is it at? Where's it hiding? One of these packs, surely. Drake is out there for electric. Quad combo. Grabbing another hit. <laughs> Present, isn't that set incredible, man? Isn't that set incredible, though? Like, the reverse hollows are literally a piece of art, man. Oh, my goodness. Gordy, Seismitoad. Little bit of legendary collection in the Almanac. It's ridiculous, though. I was really trying to get a reverse Snorlax from legendary collection a few weeks ago and just missed out on it. Uh, Mars Shadow, Hollow. Yeah, that set is insane, is right. Correct. <laughs> fair, Justin, fair. And that, Randy, as well. Yeah, Jump Pluff, Tropius. Some great points there, both of you guys. <laughs> Justin, Randy. Exactly, Jacob. Exactly, you said it. Ooh, very nice full art. Water spot again. Sweet Coon. Great hit, Water. Congrats. That's a good pull. There you go, water. Nice hit. But yeah, that is that's very true, uh, Jacob. Very true. Hydrogen hollow. Flame. Got wishy washy. Yeah, no big one of VMAX tonight, Jacob. I think I have literally like something like 10 boxes left of VMAX Climax, and it's going to be really tough to get more after this, so I'm kind of mainly saving those more for, um, uh, for like mixers and stuff now to toss in with like an evolving skies and VMAX and stuff like that. There probably won't be any more big six boxers, to be honest. I hear you though. Yeah, I know. We've been ripping so much of it. <laughs> and I'd like to do a couple with Birthstar as well. Derilodon V. Uh, we are hoping to get Birthstar guys as well, like I said. Um, but that set is releasing in Japan on Friday. Um, that means that it'll likely make its way over to the U.S., uh, by like next week Friday then like the following week. Uh, we're hoping to have it sometime around then uh, For some rips not gonna get a ton of it, but we will have a little bit. I think pincer <clears throat> I hear you though, man, it's been such a fun time ripping that stuff though Jacob and I'm really excited for uh, What this English set is gonna have uh, to offer mid-February combining all these awesome sets uh, brilliant stars should be sick 
There's a Sylveon VMAX. Psychic. There you go. Needed one for you, Psychic. Nice. Sylveon VMAX. There you go. Set that to Rhythm there. I'll do that quick. Move the bulk real quick, guys, as well, and we'll keep it moving. Burning Shadows 2.0? No way. <laughs> no way. No way. Way better, in my opinion. Burning Shadows does not have a lot outside of the Rainbow Charizard, to be honest. I think that this set is going to have way more than just that Charizard. That's just my opinion, though. Because they're going to be adding a lot of these character rares from VMAX Climax still. Um, Pinsir. It will not be high class, Ryan. No, it will not. It's um, a 30-pack booster box, 5 cards per pack. So I'm going to have to figure out how to cut like 2 or 3 at a time. <laughs> uh, Glaceon VMAX for water. But it's a 30 card booster box, five per pack. Very nice. Very cool. I think it's gonna be better than Burning Shadows though, is what I'm saying, Jacob. In my opinion, I think it will be. Because Burning Shadows after the Char Charizard GX, there's other nice GX cards and stuff, but that's really the big one. And I think that they're gonna toss some some of these sick, like, character secrets and character rares and stuff like that into Brilliant Stars still. Glaceon V. Not all of them, I would not think, um, but certainly some. And then there's that Cynthia card as well. That'll definitely be um, very desirable and pretty valuable, I would assume. The Full Art Charizard as well looks sick. The Alt Art Charizard. Oh, my goodness. Regaliki Hollow. Yeah, that as well, of course. The Rainbow Charizard, yes. That is, of course, um, in there. But man, the alt and the full art as well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all of them? You're giving us all of them? Talonflame? It's nuts, man. It is nuts. And we're only going to probably find out more and more as we do get closer. Flapple. There is a lot of water, Ryan. Has been a wet case. A lot of water. You are correct. Who's got water? Water, water is gonna be David. There you go, man. You are doing pretty well. Lots of hits for you, at least. Crustal Ampharos, that sweet Suicune as well. Nice uh, Gyarados earlier. Bunch of Glaceons. Seeing something fancy. Come on! Oh, very nice. Rainbow! Sylveon VMAX. Nice one. Psychic. Congrats, Ryan. There you go. Fancy indeed. Rainbow Sylveon VMAX. Congrats, Ryan. Nice card there. There you go. Very solid. Take that one, man. There you go. That's a beautiful looking card. Holy cow. <laughs> that, the eye appeal on that one is... Um, Unbelievable. Earth Ring, Shift Tree. Just like really, really nice. I just like the way that um, the rainbow is all the way onto the Sylveon as well. It's not just the rainbow background, it's also like a rainbow Sylveon, which is really cool. Wow, very nice hit, Ryan. Congrats. Great Sylveon. Great psychic type card. Goss of Floor Lilligant. See, even without the alt arts sometimes. Evolving Skies can be coming through with some really nice rainbows. For sure. But it's when you can pair them up, man, with an alt art. Whew, get some crazy boxes out of it. Volcarona V. Once again, the quad combo grabbing some more hits. As they always do. We got a bunch of Metazoo in the personals queue tonight, guys. We got an, uh, an Evolutions booster box in the queue tonight. Zorark Hollow. Good luck on that, of course. What else we got in the queue tonight? We got some Evolution Premium Collection boxes. Got some Fusion Strike. A little bit of Evolving. Ludicolo Apple Pie. Should be an awesome night of personal. Some great variety coming up. Spirit Mask Thievel. 
And guys, we will be getting these other new releases as well. We will have uh, Kamigawa, the new magic set, coming out pretty soon here. Uh, we are going to also be carrying, of course, Everfest, the new Flesh and Blood set. We'll have that in first edition. Um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, like I said, we're hoping to get a little bit of Starbirth. Of course, you know, we're going to have Brilliant Stars. And we should have all of those products I just listed off on release. And then uh, March, it will be time for some MetaZoo new stuff with uh, Wilderness. I'm really excited for a new MetaZoo first ed set. That's going to be fantastic, guys. We're going to be ripping that stuff for, for ages, I have a feeling. <laughs> Umbreon V to close out that box. Very nice. Just uh, really is fun with the MetaZoo. Can't get enough of it. Great time. And a great time to collect that stuff as well. All right. Next box here. Good luck. Really is just fun putting together uh, MetaZoo binders and stuff. There are some awesome beasties throughout their uh, trading card game. All right, guys. Second half. It is still the same random, of course. No reroll here. But we are entering the second half. Good luck. And let's find an alt art. Come on. Had a couple of really nice rainbows now, but hunting an alt now. Good luck feeling one coming up here soon. Let's see if we can grab it. Crystal Cave in my low tick. I'll move some codes quick. Oh, nice, Ryan. Nice. I'll have to try to remember that. Lilligant, Woobat. I like the pin club stuff. I think it's cool. I like the Pokemon pins as well, but I think it's sweet having the MetaZoo pins as well. I'd be also... Um, I'm going to also be hunting after that. Trying to grab that off their site. Got Reverse Pikachu and Stoutland. Got Espeon, Psychic again, there you go. Got some Sylveons earlier for you, there's an Espeon now. No Rainbow Espeon in the set though. Shift Tree. Uh, Kyrim Hollow. Zuelius Reverse and Articuno Hollow. Uh, first personal of the night is going to be, uh, I think it's Stephen A with four Cryptid Nation first dead boxes. Got the Upside Down Commons, Altaria. That's going to be a fun start. Four Cryptid Nation first dead boxes for Steven. Good luck, man. Pull you some sick hits. Stormy Mountains and Ampharos. Lilligant. Uh, Shift Tree and Flapple. Oh, nice, Kimmy. That's awesome. Uh, second edition, Ryan. Second edition. Cryptid Nation, second edition. If someone had four personals of first edition, that would be insane. <laughs> that would be insane. Leafy on V. Uh, but we did just sell our last personal, or our last box of uh, Cryptid Nation first ed earlier tonight in that group break. So, uh, so we're hoping to get some more in the near future, but that was our last one for now. Hopefully have some more in a week or two. Eevee. Ooh, nice full art. Lycanroc B. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I did, Ryan. I might have misspoke <laughs> if I did say that. That would be unbelievable. That would be a crazy personal. Oh my goodness. Nice full art. I, it's very possible I misspoke, though. <laughs> that would have been nuts. Imagine. Ooh, I'd be sweating for the person. Got a Velug Shift Tree. Elemental.
Elemental Badge, Altaria. Drago Hollow, nice. Got Glaceon VMAX Water. <laughs> All right, move a couple of bulk cards. We'll keep it going. Thanks again, everyone. We got two sealed boosters and about half of this one here. This is the fourth booster right now that we're working on. Wishy washy. God, Sylveon V. It is nuts, Ryan. We've literally seen um, a case have one alternate art, and we've seen a case have seven alternate arts. <laughs> so it's literally, it's gotta be like just random with evolving skies. It's nuts. Literally seen between one and seven. It's crazy. In a full case. Full of baby, my low tick. Um, a lot of them tend to be around three, but those are the numbers that we've uh, gotten so far. A lot of them are closer to three, though. Got Rayquaza, Dragon. Rayquaza V. The Rayquake. There he is, Dragon type. Talent flame. Ah, uh, Flapple. Oh, there we go. Gold item card. Toy catcher. There you go, trainer again. Congrats. You're doing awesome, trainer spot. A lot of hits for you so far. Congrats on all of them. Crystal Cave. Ribbon Badge and Seismito. Ooh, great hit water. Full art. Vaporeon V. Nice, heating it up a little bit. Very solid. Congrats on the full art, Vaporeon. Water type hit. <laughs> That's funny present. I've heard some, some crazy stuff about that card though. Thievil. That card is nuts right now. That card is nuts. I guess that's like the card to have? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it though. God, C dot Sharpedo. It's weird though. It's weird. Usually a Bowman's best rookie card would not be like the one to have, but um, for this specific Wander Franco card, it sounds like it might be the one. Drampa Pincer. Dream Ball. Our Shadow Hollow. A bad uncle with nice cards, though. That is, that is funny. Hypno and Flapple. Got Swablu, Seismatoon. Litlio Hollow Raichu. Yeah, like it sounds like uh, Justin that he shouldn't have had the true rookie card logo quite yet exactly, but it for some reason it was printed in Bowman's Best. So <laughs> it's it's strange though. Golduck. Ooh, there's another Sylveon V Max for Psychic. It's coming around for you, Psychic. There you go. Yeah, it's it's weird though. It's weird. I've never heard of something quite like this before. <laughs> S 
super strange. Uh, Shin Shao Talonflame. Maybe a decent one to have, though, present. Maybe a decent one to have. <laughs> Alright, guys, next box. Good luck on it. Get into it. Come on, I'm feeling an alt in this one. I am feeling an alt. Let's see it. It's gonna be in uh, the third pack. That's what my instincts are telling me. Third pack is gonna be the alt. Spidey senses are tingling. Empty. Alright, so let's do it. Pyroran Gorgeous. Wait a second. Pyro Gorgeous in a Noivern. What's going on? How does this happen, man? That's a reverse. That's a rare. That's another rare. And that's a hit. Noivern V. <laughs> There we go. No energy in the pack. We'll take an extra hit. Let's see that for the whole box. Come on now. There you go, Dragon. Nice. The good old error pack. Come on, whole box like that. Please. Please, please. We don't want energy cards, right? Anti hollow. Dang it, energy. Interesting. Third pack, this should be the one. Drowsy and a non alternate art wishy washy. Dang it. <laughs> Eldegoss, Stoutland. Yeah, slowly, Ryan, slowly. They're trying to give us some extra hits, I guess. They said, eh, we'll take out an energy and toss you another V card. Got Applin, Shift Tree. Yeah, I gotta see one here before the end, Justin, right? We can't have a zero alt art case. I, I refuse to believe that. Got Arctivish. Water. I refuse to believe that there's gonna be a zero alt art case. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Like I said, we've seen anywhere between one and seven. Raichu wishy washy. That's <laughs> uh, kinda nuts to say, but that's the truth. A lot of times it's around three. Stormy Mountains, Altaria. Boost Shake. Water is still killing it, Ryan. That's correct. They have like three booster boxes worth of hits. <laughs> Even without an alt, yep. Psychic has been alright as well. Where's a leaky hollow? <laughs> Seismitoad, Tropius, <laughs> can he let me have dark cards again? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you insulted the dark type cards, Justin. Now they're mad at you. <laughs> but you did apologize, so we'll see what it does. Volcarona. Fire again. <laughs> you apologize for insulting the garbage card. It's okay, I insult him every time. I pretty much insult him every time. Literally a piece of trash, man. How'd you make it on a Pokemon? Ooh, yes! Very nice! Alternate art! Noivern V! Boom! Nice! Great hit. Dragon Energy. I think that's Stacy. Congrats, Stacy. Awesome alternate art. There we go, Batman. Exactly, the Batman alt. Congrats. That's a great hit, Stacy. There you go. Awesome. Much better. Great alternate art. Yeah, this is a great card, man. Really great details on this one. Congrats, Stacy. Beauty. There you go. Nice. Heating up a little bit now. There we go. Good stuff. Dragon was one that needed a big hit as well. So there you go, Dragon. Eevee, Salamence, Hollow. Somehow that's the first Salamence. Weird. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. That's right. That was a sick one. Congrats, Dragon. Stacy. It's awesome. Ruffle it, giggle it. These are always fun. Remember, this one comes at the cost of just under one um, Evolving Skies booster box. This break here. Gorgeous. 
Uh, so for that reason, uh, it's really awesome if you do manage to land an alternate art. It'd be just like getting one in a booster box. Pinsir, Smeargle. It's a very popular one in terms of our uh, larger styles of breaks. Uh, and I have a feeling it's going to be a popular one for quite a while to come. It looks like Evolving Skies might be starting to tick back up as well here. Uh, potentially. Looks like it. Keep going on these guys. Slowly but surely, it is. <clears throat> Moon and Sun Badge, Raichu Hollow. Ooh, very nice. That's a great card, Chris. Gengar V Max Alt. That's fantastic, man. Awesome that it did get a 10 this time, but yeah, you've had some, some maybe some 9s coming back, unfortunately. Nice to get a 10 there, though. Congrats, Chris. Evil Gorgeous. Congrats, man. It's a good one for sure. Like I said, you'll have to give that Pikachu a good look. I thought the centering on the back looked really nice. Slightly off on the front, but potentially able to grab a 10. Maybe one of those you could always go to Beckett or something as well. Grab a 9-5, pretty easy. As long as there's nothing on the surface or whatever. Lilligant. Yeah, congrats on that one, Chris. That's awesome. Great pull for sure. Umbreon. There you go. Back to adjusting. They have forgiven you. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean, Chris. So you'll have to give it a, a good look over, you know? If you don't think it could grab a PSA 10, you could always send it off to Beckett then. Try to grab that 9-5, which is a legitimate strategy in my opinion. <clears throat> and I think Beckett is a very respectable company still for uh, a big chase like that for sure any alternate art any like big rainbow secrets anything like that any big like trainer slacking stoutland the 9.5 won't sell for quite the same as the 10 um, but close to it and i just like the feeling and look of beckett slabs personally i think a lot of people do vigoroth jump bluff hollow Really, really a quality and uh, like well-made slab for sure. I like the subgrades as well on Pokemon cards. It's nice. I like seeing cards that have that 10 centering and stuff like that. Shift tree. <laughs> there you go, Justin. There you go. <laughs> Got Dialga Hollow. Just like the good old Astros. <laughs> Mental Badge, Alteria. Ooh, another nice one for Water. Here it is, VMAX. Congrats. Water has done great here. Even without like a big alt or anything, they've had plenty of great cards. A couple of spots are doing great. Low Tad, Regili He Hollow. Skip Loom Amphros, non hollow. Shogun Lilligant. Full face guard and flapple. And two left here, guys. On that full case random energy style. Stoutland, Ludicolo Hollow. Fair, Chris, fair. I think it's gonna be released really soon as well, Chris. Scraggy Shift Tree. So what is the date today? 12. I bet Chris, um, within the next week, Chris, the full evil, um, Brilliant Stars set list will probably be leaked within the next week, I would say. So don't be too surprised if uh, it does come out around then. But yeah, some fair choices there. Some fair choices. Alright, guys, last one. 
Both of those are great options. <clears throat> but I would imagine that it would be released. The full set list will probably get leaked within about a week or so. It's usually just about three weeks before the release of the set that the full set list is out and stuff. Someone will find it somewhere. Somewhere or another, it always does come out. <laughs> always does. But yeah, those are some great choices to go between. That Rayquaza is great, and then new set looks like it's gonna have some Charizards and uh, and then Sun. So some fantastic options either way. Salamence Hollow. Torpedo. Golduck, Zapdos, Hollow. <clears throat> but yeah, you're kind of uh, checked off the list now for Vivid Voltage. Probably good there. <laughs> Probably good there. Tropius, Trampa. So exactly on to the next. Oh, 100% Ryan, 100% there will be. I, I can, I would be literally amazed, Ryan, if there isn't. I would be literally shocked. Um, there, there almost certainly should be. Uh, some of those character rares and potentially some of those uh, character secret rares as well. Just remember, Japanese, um, or English sets, generally speaking, are usually two Japanese sets combined. So, um, those would be the two then. So I would be very, very, very surprised if some of those character rares and character secrets um, don't make the set. We'll just have to see which ones it is. Ampros. I, I would almost be 100% um, certain, though, that it's not going to be like all of them. Um, the character rares and character secrets. But there is going to be some of them. It's just going to come down to which ones. And some of those cards are probably going to have extreme value in English. Uh, Moltres Hollow, like some of the ones sticking out to me right now, the Mimikyu VMAX, the Pikachu VMAX, um, those secrets are going to have some really good value, I think. So, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see if, if cards like that do make the set. Same with the Rayquaza, uh, that's another one that in English is just, yeah, those are going to have some great value. So, it, it's going to be interesting to see which of them do make the set. Um... That'll really, really determine how high up in the set this is gonna be. But it's already, it's already way up there for sure. I hear you, Chris, I hear you. Some people are definitely concerned about that, but at the same time, Chris, it's it's what the people want. People still love Charizards. No matter how many Charizards there are, Chris, people are always still chasing after them. Even when there's multiple in a year. Toy Catcher, Kyrum Hollow. People are still always going to chase them. But I hear you, man. I hear you still. I uh, got Gigalith. It's just one of those things, though. Like I said, I really think that no matter how many Charizards are really put out, people are still just going to be drawn to it. Even if it's a few a year at this point. Just interesting to see so many in one set, though, as well, for sure. Smeargle. Not too common to see that. Hippodon and Florgus Hollow. Need one more out, Ryan says. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It would be nice to find the second here. Maybe a VMAX alt as we get to the end. Last box, guys. Uh, Derilodon, there you go, Dragon. V card. Do that, do that. Ooh, we got Drake is all VMAX for electric. Quad combo. Set right there, second half. Nice, Chris. Nice. Shopping Center Tropius. 
I'm actually pretty big on that set still. I'm actually pretty big on Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike still. I think those are still some really sleeper sets, man. Fusion Strike has, um, outside of the Gengar, it's got those two awesome Mew cards, the V and the VMAX. Outside of the collectability of Mew, uh, those cards are actually, like, extremely playable. So I think that's going to be good for it long term. I don't always have the playable value. And then, yeah, there's a couple of other great cards in the set still, like the Gengar, like the Genesect alt, Inteleon alt, once again, also pretty, pretty dang playable. Um, so I think that set's going to be just fine as, uh, as it does age and stuff. And then Chilling Rain as well is just great, man. You've got the alternate birds. Um, ooh, nice. And Eyes Resolve. Full Art Trainer. Very solid. You've got the alternate birds um, in Chilling. You've got the Golden Snorlax in Chilling. You've got the Blaziken VMAX alt in Chilling. You've got a Pony alternate art in Chilling. That's a big one that's slept on. That card's going to do fine over time. <clears throat> uh, so I think, I think both of these um, other alternate art sets besides Battle Styles. And even Battle Styles will have its place, but... And those other two specifically, I think, are going to be something people are going to want to have down the line. Amphros. And then you got the Calyrexes as well. I think so, Ryan. I think that's the second Tanai's resolve. Yep. You got the Calyrexes also still. Snorlax is my favorite, personally. Correct, Chris. Correct. Yep. Correct. The gold is one that I'm planning to add to my collection one day. The gold. Floetti and Eldegoss Hollow. Uh, two of the bigger ones I've recently been closing in on actually is one of them is the gold. And then uh, the legendary collection reverse is another Snorlax that I've been closely monitoring. I recently missed one by uh, just a couple of dollars. Uh, the legendary collection reverse. That was really, really minty uh, condition. Um, Derilodon VMAX. Nice. There you go, Dragon. But I would like to have a BGS-10 Snorlax. Um, gold label, eventually. So, that's the plan. And then I would really like to have a, um, Legendary Collection Reverse that is at least a BGS-8 or a PSA-9. As well. But I would like to probably buy that card raw and then grade it. Because they do pop up in good condition, but you just have to pay close attention. Apple Pie. It does take some time to track down some of those vintage cards, though. But yeah, these are cards that I search for um, on eBay like almost every day, Chris. <laughs> just to see what the new listings and stuff are looking like. Pikachu, Dialga Hollow. There's a handful of other um, just past WOTC era. Uh, Snorlaxes that I'm also looking to pick up as well. A lot of the WOTC Snorlaxes I do already have, actually. Like the jungle and stuff like that. And I have a good amount of the modern chases, like the Rainbow Snorlax VMAX, uh, from Sword and Shield, a couple of other nice full art Snorlaxes, and stuff like that. From a handful of modern sets. Come on, Peck. But the gold is what I'm closing in on. Hopip and Milotic. Nice Q. Uh, Applin and Gigalith and a Drake Assault. What's going on, man? What is going on with that? That is supposed to be the rare slot. They give us an extra V instead of the energy. Drake Assault. That's nuts. How does that happen? crazy yeah the whole case only one alt chris yeah we've seen case Ooh, that's a nice hit though gold intellion wow nice one water congrats very nice yeah one alternate art though only chris correct we've seen some cases like this in the past we've seen cases with anywhere between one and seven alternate arts which is kind of nuts <laughs> anywhere between one and seven but most of them are usually around three. But this uh, this one here has had quite a few uh, quite a few nice hits outside of the alts. We've had quite a few really nice full arts, quite a few golds, some nice rainbows. So uh, there has at least been some secrets outside of that single alt. But yeah, this would be the second case now I've seen with one. If it does only have one, so let's uh, break that at the end. Come on. 
Let's break that here. Ooh, that's sick! Full arts! Neuvern V! There you go! Awesome, that was the alternate art, Neuvern. That's the full art, though. Stacy. Sweet Neuvern collection building up. Very cool. Nice full arts. Last pack magic, maybe. <laughs> Seemed to work the other night. If it's not broke, uh, don't fix it. Keep trying it, right? Milotic Stoutland. And just two more guys, and then we'll be getting into personals tonight. Emolga and Gigalith. Nice. Spirit Mask. Alright, last pack, guys. Thanks again for hopping in the full case. Appreciate it, as always. Got Paplitoad. And last hit is going to be Shift Tree. All right, thanks again, everyone. I will do a little quick recap here of the hits as well. I've got them all pulled out here for you. Uh, so let me do that quick as well. Neuvern Full Art, Inteleon Gold Card, Drake is Alt V, Derilidon V Max, Zenai's Resolve Trainer, Drake is Alt V Max, Derilidon V, Gyarados V Max, Umbreon V, Neuvern V Alt, congrats on that, Volcarona V, Arctivish V, Neuvern V, Sylveon V Max, Vaporeon Full Art, had the Gold Toy Catcher, Rayquaza V, Sylveon V, Glaceon V Max, Lycanroc V, Full Art. Nice. Leafeon, Espeon V, Umbreon V, Volcarona, Sylveon V Max, Rainbow. Very cool. Glaceon V, uh, and V Max. Gorillaton V, Sylveon V Max. Nice. Full Art Suicune for water. Very nice. Full Art. Dracozalt V, Glaceon V, Gyarados V Max. Rainbow Aroma Lady. Wow, Trainer Spot actually did really nice. Garbodor V, Garbodor V Max, Zenai's Resolve, Full Art, Sylveon V, Glaceon V, Trevenant V Max, had a Gold Metal Energy, Rayquaza V Max, Umbreon V, Full Art, Golurk V, and Leafeon V Max. Thank you again, everyone, for joining. Appreciate it. We'll get those protected and sent right out to you.